We're cooking with Farsi Cafe. The cafe started in New Delhi, India 10 years ago. The modern Indian bistro is wildly popular in India as well as London, England, and now it's in Bellevue. Farsi Cafe opened its first U.S. location recently and the response has been overwhelming. Here to cook with me is Jarab Chawla. Welcome to New Day. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Yes, I actually went to your guys' opening night a year ago and it was fantastic. So this is exciting. What are we cooking up today? Great. So we change our menu after every three months, every season. And this is one of the most popular dish in the menu. It's from the day one and it is called Southern Affair. Ooh. So it's called Southern Affair because it's from southern part of India. A very small district called Tamil Nadu. And in Tamil Nadu, there's a place called Chetinad. So Chetinad has a lot of, it is characterized by use of lavish spices and aromas. And here we have it all today. Oh my gosh, I can already smell the spices. Absolutely. Beautiful. So how do we start this dish? What goes in first? So uh, I'm not going to add some clarified butter inside. A lot many people add coconut oil, but I have a lot of coconut oil here. I'm going to garnish with a coconut talcum as well, which is one of its kind, which we are making in the restaurant. So I'm going to add clarified butter first, some spices. My chicken is over here, which is marinated. Mm. Then we have the chutney paste, which is full of spices and aromas. To balance it out, we have a coconut based sauce. So let's start it. Let's get started. I'm, I'm hungry. You're, you've sold me on it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we put the flame on a medium. Okay. Here we go, the clarified butter inside. Love it. And what do you think makes this dish so popular? Why are people really loving it? The flavors? The Absolutely. The flavors, because it has a lot of spices. As I said, it has characterized by clove, cinnamon, and then green cardamom, black cardamom. So it's a mix of heat sweetness, a tanginess, and to balance it all, we have a coconut-based gravy. So it won't give you much of the heat, but to balance it out, we have the coconut-based gravy. Love and it. I'm, I'm gonna add clarified butter because it's also give the richness to it. Okay, yeah. and the other spices, what else is going in? So we have the mustard seeds here. It will give the sharpness to the dish. So in goes the mustard seeds. Beautiful. Here we are. What's next? Then we have the split black gram. So this will give the good nuttiness to the dish. So I'm gonna just stir it for a while. And once this gets sparkle, then mm -hmm. we're gonna add some chopped ginger into it, chopped curry leaves, the marinated chicken. So we go step by step. Love it, okay, and while that is all cooking, tell people about the cafe for someone that right. hasn't visited yet. Yeah, so the Fuzzy Cafe, as the name says, Fuzzy means fake, but it's not fake, it means creating an illusion. Mm -hmm. So every dish that we make in the restaurants is an illusion. So what you get on the table and what you present is actually very different. Wow. So we have a lot of dishes in the menu like that. And it's so colorful and vibrant in there. It's absolutely stunning. And you guys do such an amazing presentation. It's all over TikTok. Yeah. But the food, it's not, you know, it's about the food as well. Yeah, it's absolutely. not just so viral. We take the inspiration and influences from all over the world. And that's how I want to put in the menu. Uh, doing the techniques of the Indian cuisine and wants to gel with the global flavors and the ingredients. So I always grew up uh, living on that. And then I try to do the sustainable cooking wherein I don't have to throw the shells and I use the waste, zero waste uh, technique as well. So that, I mean, it's evident in every dish that we make. Definitely, I can attest. Okay, what else yeah. is going in? So it goes the ginger. Ginger, yum, smells delicious. Yeah, here we are. Okay, you have a couple more spices over there before the yeah. chicken, what else we is just, going in? We just have the curry leaf in here. So this is the chopped curry leaves I'm gonna put. Okay, the whole thing, love whole it. Thing, yeah. Mmm, that aroma, oh my gosh. Mm. My stomach is grumbling, this looks delicious. You just wait for another five minutes and this will be ready then. <laughs> And where does your passion for cooking come from? You uh, opened the first restaurant, yes. right? Yes, so back in India, we opened the first restaurant in 2014. And then, I mean, I was not really inclined to the Indian cuisine at first. I was into European cuisine. But then and slowly and slowly, I developed my interest into Indian cuisine because it's, it's so vast. I mean, if you go to India, every 100 kilometers, the flavors get changed, the ingredients get changed. So there's a lot of diversity in the cuisine that we have. Definitely. So that that's brings me to Develop my interest from the European cuisine to Indian cuisine. Oh my gosh, okay, so is the chicken going in yeah, yet? Yeah, now what? the chicken is going in. So it's been already marinated into a ginger garlic paste, yogurt, and some spices. Love that, okay. So it has coriander powder, it has cumin powder, a hint of garam masala. 
So do you feel like this has a little heat for people, a little yes, spice? Yes, They're going to yes. feel that heat? So we can, we can make it a uh, level of spiciness from medium spicy to a very high spicy. So if I want to make it less spicy, I can add more of the coconut based sauce, which is very mild and uh, very coconutty, very nutty. So I can balance out the heat with that. Stunning. Okay. Yeah. And this fires up for a little bit and then you yeah. put in the so other paste? Yes, exactly. So once the chicken gets sealed very nicely and it will lose all the juices and then we'll put the cherry nut paste and then the moly gravy inside. And while that is all cooking up, what's over here? This is absolutely stunning. This presentation, we have an appetizer and then you said yeah. so a this dessert? Is, exactly. So this is avocado chart. Okay. So chaat is basically a starter which, is, which has a lot of, it's very tangy, it's spicy, it has coriander, it has green chilies, it has lemon juice, black salt. So, I mean, generally people used to just present the avocado chaat in a bowl. But if you see, we have used avocado shells. So Elevated, yes. yes. So that's, that's a progressive technique that we do. So we use avocado shells in there and then we have stuff inside. And on the top we have the rice cracker. So that's how we complete it. Okay, and then that dessert dish, what's yeah. over there? So the dessert is a very popular one and it's very close to my heart. Uh, this is one of my favorite dessert too. It's called Jalebi Rabri. So Jalebi is actually made by fermented fried batter. So it's actually very spiral kind of a shape. But uh, I've changed the shape, I've transformed that shape and made it into this one. Uh, this shape is basically called Achipam. Achipam is from Kerala, which is a uh, rose cookie. So we've taken the inspiration from that and also there is a cookie called rosé cookie which is of a very similar shape. So on the base we have a rubbery which is a saffron and mascarpone rubbery. So you see that how we change the Italian flavors of mascarpone and infuse it with the rubbery which is a condensed milk. Mm. So on the base we have that and then we have the jalebi and inside we have the strawberry cavity. So that fermented tanginess we are actually replacing it with the tanginess of the strawberry. Wow, do you think I can try that while of the course, chicken is, of course, is of course. it's I'm you know mouth is watering right I'm now. Sure. We're gonna start with the appetizer because of course, why not? And while I'm taste testing this, what do you want people's experience to be when they walk into the cafe in Bellevue? You know, what do you want their takeaway to be? Yeah, so uh, if you go. see our restaurant, I mean our restaurant is very really lot different about from the other restaurants, I would say. Because uh, we have a progressive take on the Indian cuisine. Mm. We're not just another curry house. I mean, it's a symphony of flavors altogether. When you eat one bite, I mean, I'm sure you're getting it, right? Wow. So, you, so you'll get a lot so of flavors. So many flavors. Exactly. exactly. It's like exactly. bursting with a lot. A exactly. lot is happening in this dish. Yeah. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. So over here, my chicken is almost It's seed. ready? It's We're almost, almost ready to plate? Uh, we have to just put in some chutney nut paste. Okay. This is a main ingredient over here. I love that you're just eyeballing everything. Chef is really <laughs> crushing it right now. <laughs> and that's a little bit of water. Okay. What does the water do with that? I mean, the taste is very thick, so I'm just going to dilute it a bit. Of. So, there we are. So, so delicious. Okay, we're about out of time, so I'm going to have to try this in the break, but All the right. smell, I can attest, if there was only smell of vision people need to go visit you all in Bellevue. You're doing amazing things. I'll let you still, you know, keep it going while I take us to break. And sure. thank you so much for being here and showing your passion for food with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.